The holidays are right around the corner. Save yourself time and stress with HelloFresh, okay? And get everything you need to get tasty meals, boom, right to your door. Use the code STUDIOSFREE to get free breakfast for life. Go to HelloFresh.com slash STUDIOSFREE, one breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. Welcome back to San Diego Studios. Today, me and Frankie are playing a game called I Feel Attacked. Basically, on the back of these cards is going to be some character traits, and I'm going to tell you if I love them or if I hate them. And then I'm going to have to guess if Frankie loves or hates them or something. I don't know. I love that this game is called I Feel Attacked because whenever I'm doing something with Joe, I regularly feel attacked. First one. People who make constant, unending eye contact. Oh, Joey probably quivers under that. He probably doesn't like that. That's weird behavior, especially if you're a stranger. Can you imagine a stranger just staring at you from across a bar or something? I'd be like, we're about to get into a fight. What a freak. So that, hate that. I don't think he likes that. Maybe he does. Maybe it's like a power thing. I don't think it's good unless you're having sex. That's dope. <laughs> You know, look at me. Other than that, I don't. Th I think it makes me a little uncomfortable if someone's just like fucking staring at you. It'd be like, what? Like, blink, look away, something. No, I think he doesn't like that. People who say I love you just to hear it back. I mean, this is what Frankie does to me all of the fucking time. Oh yeah, he hates that. I don't like that, honestly, because like, you're not like, do you love me or you just want to know that I love you? You know what I mean? It just feels disingenuous. Because don't say it if you don't mean it. And I don't fuck with that. And that motherfucker does it. That's, uh, if I'm being Joey here, I'm like, like, if you're going to tell me you love me, tell me you fucking love me. And because you're feeling like a crazy, like, amount of love and you just got to let me know. Yeah, he hates it. He wants it all. He wants real love. You know? Real love. Hey. People who never keep plans. He hates that. I can guarantee he hates that. I hate this shit. I absolutely hate this shit. I think he understands if things come up. But like, if they just never, like if you make plans with this person and then they just don't show up, I assume that's something that drives him up a fucking wall. I have friends who ask a lot of questions when it comes to plans. Like they say yes and then the plans come and they're like, who's going? And I'm like, you fucking said you were gonna come. Don't hit me with the who's going and now I gotta rattle off a list. I'm not doing it, stay home, all right? Fuck you. Keep your plans. <laughs> People who collect action figures. How do I feel about that? He better fucking like this. Well, I think that if they're well into their 30s, then like that's probably a little strange. Also, it depends if they're cool action figures or not. If he tries to say some shit. But you know, Frankie's over here. He's collecting like Power Ranger shit and like small soldiers. Like, you know what I mean? Because I'm not one of those collectors that like they sit up and fucking collect dust. And, you know, no, the, the kids want to play with them, they can play with them, dude. Unless it's in a sealed box, then they don't touch that shit, okay? <laughs> Did you ever be confused about that? So I will say that it's like a part of me can appreciate someone who is a collector. Um, but when it's like little toys, <laughs> it's a little weird. <laughs> it's a little weird. People who gaslight. <laughs> like, I love how this is a card in the game as if someone was going to be like, I kind of like being gaslit. I like it. You know what? I enjoy someone convincing me that I'm crazy. That feels good. People who gaslight. Oh, how does he feel about that? Huh? How does he feel? I'm sure he doesn't like it. Does that mean he won't do it? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm sure he hates it. Who, who likes a fucking gaslighter? I kind of feel impervious to it, if I'm being honest. Like, I feel like you can't gaslight me. You know, I'm an overthinker and I got anxiety and shit. I've thought about this conversation 1,000 ways. You're not talking your way out of this one, and you're not convincing me of fucking anything. People who don't know how to change a tire. I think he's okay with that, because I don't think he knows how to change a tire. <laughs> you know, I think we're too hard on men out there that don't know how to change a tire. Um, I can change a tire, but finding the right place to jack the car is where I get nervous, because I feel like I'm gonna put it on the wrong thing, and then I'm gonna like crush the fucking gas tank and there's gonna be gas everywhere like I, I don't know the right placement I, I to my knowledge it's different on every car I, I also love how that's like the fucking goalpost for like if you're a man or not like can you change a tire it's like how, how about how about learn how to drive how about that like are you kidding me learn how to drive don't fucking pop your tires all right swerve out of the way don't drive over nails 
Uh, these were picked out for me, by the way. So I guess I'm also feeling attacked by you, and I don't like this, but let's see. Maybe I'll like it. I don't know. Girl farts. Dude, fuck. Get out of here. Girl farts. <laughs> I think Frankie hates girl farts more than he hates probably terrorism. I'm not kidding. <laughs> he fucking hates it. Get out of here. First of all, girls don't fart. People think this is like a sexist thing. I don't like farts, period, dude. However you choose to identify, no farts around me. It is like few and far between that I think a girl, like a farting fart joke is funny. And it's, if they smell, bro, you've ruined my whole day. I think he broke up with a girl because she farted once. Use the word bud pal chief. I feel like Frankie's gonna like this because he strikes me as one of these guys. He's a bud pal. I, he doesn't really chief much, but he bud and pals. Big fan of this one, bud. Big fan, pal. I don't know, pal seems almost like passive aggressive. Like it seems like if someone's doing pal, like they know they're not your pal, so they're doing it just like to try to be like, we're the same. Bud though, Bud's a good one. That's comforting, that's warm, that's welcoming. This guy's a master of small talk and like loves talking to like, you know, a, a hot dog guy or something. Like just random people, he loves to make conversation. I think he'll like this. Think they'd thrive in a zombie apocalypse. I think this will piss him off. He'll blame me. He'll be like, yeah, Joey thinks he can blah, blah, blah. But he'll, it'll piss him off. He's not going to like that. Dude, we'd all die. All of us. I love how guys from like fucking Milford, Connecticut are like, I would do really well in a zombie apocalypse. No, you wouldn't. You don't live on a farm. You can't tie any other knots outside of your shoes. You're dead, dude. Like they watched The Walking Dead for three seasons and they're like, actually, this is what Rick and Michonne did. This is what I'll do. It's like, dude, you know what you'll do? You'll be fertilizer. People who wear a $5,000 watch, this whole thing is like geared towards me, I see. So uh, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna definitely bring me up and say like it's pretentious or whatever the fuck. And he's gonna say that he hates it. This sucks. I'm not one for like flashy clothes or jewelry, um, but mark my words. He's gonna get one in the next year. I believe this. I believe in the next year, Frankie's gonna get a nice watch. Watch, double watch. <laughs> I just don't get it. I mean, listen. If you if you want to wear it to like a wedding or something, that's one thing. When you're, uh, I don't know, on a mm, Thursday afternoon driving to a studio where you record a podcast with your buddies and you wear the you know, Rolex, I think that's a little funny. <laughs> Address the waiter by name. He's probably gonna like this. This is Frankie, dude. Like, this is Frankie. Like, you're at Olive Garden, he's like, oh, hey, Jess. Shut the fuck up, dude. I kinda don't mind this. I kinda like it. Like, dude, their name is fucking, what am I gonna call them? It, come here, it. You know, like, they're, they're a fucking person. I like this. I don't know why people don't like it. No, but this is Frank. Like, he's gonna address the waiter by name. He's gonna make some fucking comment. And at the end of the meal, he's gonna be like, what, free? Like, it's not free? Like, he's gonna, like, yeah, it'll be something like that. So he's gonna like that, I think. Like, oh, I think it's all right. Get the fuck out of here. People who are close talkers. I'll tell you exactly what Frankie's gonna say. <laughs> Frankie despises this, and he's gonna go, fucking Keith. <laughs> he's gonna say, Keith is a close talker. This is hilarious, because the worst close talker I've ever met in my entire life is in the other fucking room, and it's Keith. And when he drinks, and he talks to you without exaggeration this close. And it's hysterical because he normally does, like he's very protective of his personal space. I think I'm a close talker in relative terms. Like I'm a, I, I remember I had a friend in college that I would talk with him and, and he would literally put his arm out and push me back. <laughs> so I guess I don't mind it, but like I could see why a lot of people don't, don't like it. I'm right in the middle, you know, I'm not too close but I'm not too far away. I think people that like to talk close is because they feel like personally and you like connect with you in some way. Do like a whoosh and go shh. All right, guys, today we're, uh, wait, what? Oh no, we're doing the results now. <laughs> we're gonna find out who was more right about who. Give me the results. Is he the dad? And the Grammy goes to. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at, to be honest with you. Yeah, this is not... This said, Joe said Keith, Joe winner, and yeah. then a bunch of dashes. And then, and then a circled F. Is it upside down? Is this a... Sh oh, this is a road. I think this is a street. I, I'm not quite sure yet. I think it's a street? I think Joe... Is that a Joe or is that toe? I could write better than this if I was concussed and drunk. And writing left-handed. Right. No, all jokes Here, aside. Jokes aside, yeah. you can read it. 
This way, this you way, yeah. this way, and this way. Oh, that's it? Yeah. What uh, fucking horny best friends but, we are. What the fuck? That's why Joe Winner Joe at the Winter. bottom? Joe Winter. I don't like Joe Winner. Yeah, Joe Winner. No, Frank, Frank Tire. Oh, because of the key thing. Oh, because you got the card that said, uh, would you like close talkers? And I was like, he's going to mention Keith. Oh, 100%. Because <laughs> Keith gets drunk and he's Yo, I gotta tell you a secret. Yeah. <laughs> like, and that's what makes it even funnier is he's at that point so drunk that like he's not forming coherent senses. So he's like, Are you want beer? Because yeah. I do buy five. I do <laughs> you know, it's like, dude, what? <laughs> but there you have it, folks. Uh, I'm a winner. No, I don't Once like again, this. Yes. Uh, I've won um, the thing, but we, we only got one wrong for each other. So we know each other pretty so well. So we should be, we should tie. I said he's gonna mention Keith. 100, percent and I did. Yeah, I did very clearly. I was <laughs> like, he's in the other room. And Keith is, and he's also very apologetic when he's drunk. He'll get too close, and then you'll be like, all right, dude, you're mad. He's like, oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm okay. I'm sorry. His hands go up like I'm not he's, even dead drunk. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> like the police showed up. He's like, I have. <laughs> okay. But anyway, that is all for this week's uh, video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,